Hey, good morning, Lauren. Now that victim is in the hospital right now in critical condition still after being shot after leaving a family member's birthday party on Saturday. And just right next door at Comer Children's Hospital is where his niece was treated while also being shot in that same drive-by. Now we're talking about Timothy Elin, and his family says that he was critically injured after being shot in the face Saturday night. The shooting took place around 10 p.m. near the corner of East Kensington and South Prairie Avenue. The off-duty firefighter was leaving his nephew's surprise birthday party when a drive-by shooting happened and injuring Timothy and four others and killing an unden unidentified 42-year-old woman. Now, Timothy Elin's 15-year-old niece was also shot. She was taken to Comer Children's Hospital in fair condition after suffering a graze wound to the arm. Although Timothy's injuries are more severe, leaving him in critical condition here at the University of Chicago Hospital. Now, he's just one of 55 gun violence victims over the weekend with five people dying from their wounds. Just yesterday alone, 18 shootings took place between the hours of 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. Now, Timothy Ealing's family told us they were relieved when the father of five responded to his name by blinking his eye, but his sister says Saturday's drive-by shooting has left her traumatized. We were talking, you know, tell each other we love each other before we left. You know, what family does. And the next thing I know, I, I heard what sounded like firecrackers, but it it wasn't. Now, Area 2 detectives are investigating the shooting. So far, no one has been arrested. Live on the South Side, I'm Glenn Marshall, WGN News.